Monaghan. Let's see how it turned out with Porrick Lodge. For the first time since 1994, Leitrim were playing a fourth championship match in the one year. Leash, who made the journey to the northwest as odds on favourites, landed the first blow. Barely 90 seconds on the clock, and Gary Walsh had the O'Moore County ahead. A fit again, Emlyn Mulligan was on target with two frees before one of Leitrim's star performers in the game, Ray Cox, opened his account to give Leitrim a three points to one lead nine minutes in. Leash went on to register three points in a row. Ross Munley, Gary Walsh and the hard-working Porrig Clancy edging the Midlanders back in front again. A third free from Mulligan meant the game was tied at four points each when corner forward Kevin Conlon struck for the first goal of the match. Leitrim won four to four points up now and the home supporters were in full voice. Leitrim were playing the better football at this stage and clearly believed that a shock was possible. When wing-back Colm Clark registered this classy score, Leitrim were five points up, heading for half-time. But disaster struck soon after when goalkeeper Cahill McCran, who had an otherwise outstanding game, couldn't hang on to the ball and Conor Boyle was on hand to take full advantage. It was a massive setback for Leitrim, although Ray Cox sent over the last score of the half to leave Leitrim three ahead at the break, 1-8 to 1-5. Leash emerged for the second half, determined to turn things round. Billy Sheen, who'd been deployed as a sweeper for much of the opening half, returned to a centre forward position, and his score left Leash trailing by just one. Leitrim, though, showed no signs of giving up, and the spirit and drive of the men at 94 was in evidence as Kevin Conlon restored their two point advantage. Brendan Quigley and Colin Begley had now established a firm grip at midfield and it helped Leash to take control as they sent over the next four scores. This effort from Colin Kelly on 42 minutes drew Leash level. A lack of scoring options up front was proving to be a serious handicap for Leitrim and Colin Begley put Leash in front by two with five minutes left. Although the Leitrim challenge was fading, goal scorer Kevin Conlon reduced the deficit to a single point heading towards the end, the drummer Hairman finishing with a goal and two points. But the visitors went two up again to stumble over the line despite posting 18 wides. It finished Leash 113, Leitrim 111. I think the dominant emotion is relief, huge relief. Uh, Leitrim really pulled up to us for 75 minutes of receiving and uh, we're lucky to get out of here alive. Uh, obviously proud, but devastated, I suppose. Uh, moral victories are, are, are really no 